In this video, I'm going to be adding some extra details to my paper mache before I start painting. So I'm going to be adding some fake eyes and then creating some textures and eyelids using paper clay. Um, paper clay is kind of like a sculptural material like paper mache. It's made out of toilet paper, glue, flour, and joint compound. Um, there's many different recipes that you can find online, so I just grabbed one off of there to work with. So to start, I'm going to place the eyes, and I'm going to use this awl to poke holes into my sculpture to get them into place. Once I have the holes poked, I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue and place them into the holes. That's going to help keep the eyes in place once they're there. And then I'm going to pop the eyes in and just kind of press down for a little bit to hold them into place as the glue cools down. Alright, so now I have a couple eyes in place and what I'm going to do now is use paper clay to sculpt some eyelids. Um, so my creature's pretty sleepy looking so I'm going to give him some sleepy eyelids. And um, usually when I work with the paper clay I don't use my fingers because it's really sticky um, considering it's made mostly out of glue. So what I use instead is just a butter knife. Um, if you have clay tools that works as well. Um, I have a fork that I can use to add some textures and then I just have another sculpture tool that I use to kind of push things around when the knife is not working. But generally with this the butter knife works great. So I'm just going to scoop up some clay here and press it onto the sculpture. This is almost like frosting the way it works. Um, when you make the paper clay you really want to uh, make sure the toilet paper is shredded as much as you can um, otherwise it gets really fibrous and hard to work with. I've added some textures with the paper clay, kind of creating a scale-like texture using the butter knife. And I've created a nose and eyelids. So essentially, at this point, I'm ready to just let this dry. And once it is dry, then I can start painting. So in the last video, we will be painting our trophy heads. 